G'day, it's Chris. Welcome back to Flat Tank Journey. New week in the shed, exciting week. Got a lot going on. I'm messing with a, what's it say it is? A Magdino Junior um, that's come to me, oh, well, not by accident, but it's a fairly substantial piece of kit. I've been messing around with that, seeing if I can locate what it's off. This week in the shed, I painted, painted the rally parts, had a good week. Um, not everything went smoothly, but I, I'm really happy with the way things turned out. It's probably as good as I can do with the parts I had. So get ready because here comes laying on top coat and some of you mightn't approve of how I did it. But anyway, this is what I do. Back in the shed working on the guards. I've got them up to the point that I want to hit them with some 400 wet and dry before I apply some black enamel top coat to them out of a rattle can. I think they look pretty good. The front guard is pretty beaten up, if I'm honest. Um, the rear guard's cool. It'll be fine. But the front guard's probably as good as I'm going to make it. I've got a lot of hours into it, and it's, it's pretty good. But it's not perfect. Um, the last time you saw me, I was hitting them with 320 and sanding back the primer and some fill and some spot putty. Then I spray puttied them and I'm just going to give them a, a, a flatten off with some 400 so we get less orange peel out of them. At this point, I use a lot of shop cloths or shop rags. Got a bag of them. Um, you can buy them ready to use if you want. Um, I'm trying to not to damage the guards. I'm trying not to scratch them at all. I'm trying to keep them in decent condition and see how they go. So I'm just gonna lightly go over the inside and the outside of these with 400 wet and dry, and then I'll give them a wipe down. I'll bring you back then. It isn't super hard and it doesn't take super long to get just that, I don't know, I describe it as furriness off the top of the primer. Um, you, you can actually feel the difference. You know where you've sanded because you can feel the smoothness that the 400 leaves. I, I suppose in my mind, I imagine it's making a better job of everything. And then you can see a tiny imperfection <laughs> that needs a little hit more. So. Just bear with me, and I'll just give that a little clean up. And it is funny, when it's smooth, you can see things you couldn't see before. And that's a pain in the bum, because you get to the point where you think you're ready to paint, and you're not quite ready to paint. I'm going to clean up here on the bench, get clean shop cloths out, and wipe these with wet and dry. Uh, I'm gonna wipe them over with wax and grease remover. That's what I'm gonna do. The wet and dry, I need to put it away. I tend to give my shop cloths a few lives, really clean ones for wax and grease remover. Then they go down to being wet again to wipe a guard when I've sanded. And then, you know, sometimes they dry and get used for something else. Uh, cleanliness prior to painting is super important. Um, and wax and grease remover is cheap, so I never skimp on it. And of course, imperfections inside the guard, not super important. I mean, it's not a show bike by any stretch. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but imperfections and 
stuff caught in the paint on the outside, nah, it really does matter because it'll be right at the front on the top of the front guard. And everywhere you take it, everyone will see it and you'll think, mm, wish I'd fixed that. I'm gonna get these hung up. I've talked about this before, but I'm a rattle can man. This is um, metal cover, epoxy enamel paint in gloss black. I think that's the sort of thing they'd have painted it with. Now, they wouldn't have painted it with rattle cans for sure, but I think we're gonna get a good result. Now I'm in the shed and yes, the floor's dirty, but it's a really still day. I've covered other stuff that's in the shed that I don't wanna get paint on. I've hung this up so I can leave it and I'm gonna coat the inside and the outside and see if I can get a good result. Let me shake these up and bring you back. Oh, first attempt at filming spray painting. I'm not sure what sort of reaction we're gonna get out of this, but I need to spray, and if you can see, that'll be cool. Because I'm a tight wad with cash, I've got the very end of a can. I've got a fresh can just sitting in the sun that I've half shaken. I'm gonna miss this first and then apply two more coats a minute apart with the next can. Weirdly, it's actually really hard to spray the edges without getting too much on it. So if you see me going back over the edges a few times, it's because I'm trying to get a dusting on the edges without overpainting the rest of it. And it's not as simple as it sounds. All right, time to wait a minute, throw this one in the bin, get a freshie, and then apply two more coats. Okay. Minutes over, and I've shaken this for the solid minute that we're waiting for this to flash off. Gonna give this a heavier coat this time and just a little bit more than the dusting I gave it. We'll see if we get a better finish, eh? Rightio. I wouldn't say I'm super enamoured with the way it looks. It's going on, but um, yeah, it doesn't look super. Let's see how it goes after we put the third coat on. Going to wait another minute. You're only going to wait a few seconds. My minute's up and you're ready to watch again. It's only spray painting, but this is the final stage of trying to get the best job you can get. I'm not too worried about the inside at this stage, but I will give it a dust over. It's the outside. I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed any spots, especially these edges. Uh, I'm a bit paranoid about it. In the past, I have missed and just hazed it. And weird, you paint it three times and you still get a hazy spot. Gee, it's frustrating. There's the little bits you can miss. Just the cut edges of a guard on the front, or in my case, in particular, the back. Those little cut edges of the bead that's on the edge of the guard can be the devil's own trouble to get. Now, I did miss the front, and so I'm gonna wait a minute and just give it up. Um, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. Let's try and hang up the front guard. I'm a bit in the dark, so you might struggle to see a bit. We'll see how the footage turns out. Bit of a sketchy hang up. I've got the right hand side of the guard low, so I have to shoot upwards at it, and the left hand side of the guard downwards. It'll be okay. I like hanging things up 
on wires and making sure they're really secure. I have done things on props and stands and you come out the next day and find them on the ground and you need to start over and that always annoys me. I'm gonna give this just one wipe with prep wash and then a wipe with the clean cloth and see how we go. Rightio, you saw me grab the stool and just get seated and get comfortable to paint the bottom of this guard. It's really important that both sides get painted equally. And if you're not comfortable, it just doesn't work properly. There's probably lots better ways I could have strung this up on rods and wires or painted the inside than the outside, but I don't want to. I want to paint it all at once and try and get this even as I can. I'm gonna wait a minute, and then we're gonna have another go. Back for round two of the painting. Um, I can see some of these edges are just hazed, so I'm gonna concentrate on those. Uh, I did upend the can and clean it out between coats, and I do keep shaking it to keep the paint agitated with the ball bearing. Not too bad, um, I wouldn't say that was my best effort. Um, with the spray can, I've got a lot of on and offs and um, maybe it won't look super, we'll see. Um, one more coat to go, you can have a look at that and then I'll leave you on time lapse for the 24 hours and you can watch it dry. This is the tank and I wasn't gonna show you this because I thought, ah, people will disapprove and someone will get all up in my business about it. I wanna spray the tank in one go. I don't want to spray it in two, and I don't really want to hang it up, because I want the bottom to be cleanish. So I've compromised. I'm going to shoot two or three quick coats on the bottom, then I'm going to turn it over and sit it on a ring, and there'll be a mark on the bottom of the tank in the middle. You're never ever going to see it, and besides the 300 people who watch these videos, who's going to know? I can live with it, I really don't care. The bottom of the tank I've thrown a quick coat at and then I chickened out and decided you should see it. This is what I'm gonna do and it'll be okay for me. If it was someone else, they might not want it done this way. They might get a professional painter to do it and not paint it for seven or eight dollars in their shed. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get two more quick coats on it, then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna let the lid of a rattle can stick to the bottom, and then I'm gonna pluck it off while it's green tomorrow. Yes, there'll be a ring in the paint. Yes, I can live with it. If you can't, that's okay. So I've only had moderate chest pain while I picked this up carefully and turned it over. I don't think it will fall over, and if it does, I'll sand it back and repaint it and never show you the footage.
And that actually looks pretty good. I'm not unhappy with it. I'm giggling at myself, which is kind of funny. All right, first coat slashed off, looks okay. Gonna give it a second coat and see how it looks. That's the end of coat number two. It actually looks really good. It's actually better than the guards, I'm surprised. There you go. Final coat's about to go on and I think the tank looks super. It's painted up really, really well and I'm really happy. Let's see how this goes. Just walked away to clean the nozzle and I'll actually give that a little wipe. There's three cuts. How will it turn out? No idea. How does it look? Looks good. Happy with it. You might have noticed the last, the three coats I put on the top, I sprayed from different angles. So the first one, I went this way. Especially around the filler caps. Then I went from that side from your side and came across. And then this final one from this side and came across. Again, paying attention to the filler caps because I find that's where I miss bits. I miss bits around the filler cap and it annoys me so much, especially when you go to get this thing finished. Let's see how it goes. Um, hopefully, it'll pan up really well. I don't expect it to be perfect. The key to it now is don't touch it no matter what happens. Don't touch it. There you go. That's Flat Tank Journey for another week. Everything's painted black. And the bike is very, very black. And I'll show you that in a week or so as I get the parts back together. I'm looking forward to getting decals and pinstriping and that sort of thing. But there you go. Everything worked out really well. Guards and the tank dried really well. And they're probably, again, as good as I can do. Like comment, subscribe, send us a message, send me an email. Details are in the description. Have a good one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.